Hi, welcome to Lucky and Nicole Origami Lessons. We're going to do a flower pen, and the flower I chose is a lily. So this is the pen, and you can write with it. We're going to make the top, and what it was put a bit of sticky tape around here so that it wouldn't fall down. And you can make a bunch of this, put them in a vase, and the vase is the one that I did earlier. And you have a video on it. And if you want, you can make one for the person you care about. All right. So let's put this aside. And the paper I've chosen is this. It matches with my new Lucky Nico Daruma charm here I've got and cherry blossoms. So we're going to start in the same way we do for crane. We're going to have a white side but mine is red that's okay so normally we have white but just a nice pretty paper so we're going to start with a white triangle match the corners hold it and then we slide and open it up rotate and repeat match the corners Hold it, slide, there you are. Now we're going to flip it over so we can have a colored re rectangle. Here we go. Match the corners, hold it, slide. Open it, rotate, and of course we repeat again. Match the corners. And pick it up and hold it by these ridges called mountain folds and slowly push them towards the center and you'll see one, two, three, four, grab two, grab two on this side. This is the closed corner and this is the open corner. So put it on the table with the closed on it down and then press down on all the edges and you have the basic preliminary base. Now we're going to lift this up like a page of a book and you want to press on the fold. If you cannot see it you can fill it and press down first here. Don't worry about the corner here. Just try and match this fold to line up in the center there. Once they match up, hold it and then just run your finger down and it will work itself out. And that's it. So let's turn it over, pick up this page, press on the edge here. Now match this line, you can feel it with your finger. So it's in line with that. There will always be a bit of opening there. Don't worry about it. Hold it down and just go down. It doesn't matter if this gets a bit messy because it will be broken anyway once we put our pen through. Okay, now we have to do the same to these two sides. So what you're going to do is turn this like a page in a book and then bring this other page up. And we do the same thing. If it doesn't want to, I'm just going to nudge it a little bit. Like so. Now, it's getting a bit wild in the middle. That's okay. As long as this kind of lines up in there, it's good enough. Put it, then you hold it, just slide down. Like so. Now, we turn it over. We turn this little one over like a page. We have this last page to do. It's a little much. Okay. I'll put it back to line up in the middle there. Yep. Hold it. Go down to the corner. Press on the edges. That's it. Now we have to do these steps. With this edge, and lines up in the 
the center, like so. So that edge lines up there. Press. Repeat to the other side. That edge lines up in the middle. Again, it will not match to meet. There's sometimes a bit of a space, that's okay. Sometimes it will meet, like here. But otherwise, it doesn't matter. Now what you're going to do is bring this corner all the way there. So, around here is where the fold will be. And as you have the corners, just press this down. Okay, bring it back down. And now you have a fold there that will help you with the next step. So we open this up. Now put like big mouth from when we're doing the crying. And now just, we will fill the folds, the ridges here. You just push them towards the center. And they'll naturally just want to go flat like this. There we are. Now I'm not too fast about this not being aligned. That's okay, because this gets turned up. So we don't get to see it anyway. Alright, so now we have to do it for all the other sides. So let's turn this like so. This is not the page we want to fold. We turn again one more time. Ah, this is the page because I have these two triangles at the top. So this triangle goes to the center of the paper. So that's the edge there. That's how far I fold it. Okay, and we do the same here. This page. Okay, good. Now we bring this corner up there. Now we open this up. You can match the corners a little bit. Then push this walls towards the center. Now naturally find a place and you just press down. Again, my corner doesn't match quite perfectly, it's a bit crooked, but that's fine. The petals of the flowers are not all perfect either in real life. And now we turn this over. Ah, this is good, we have the triangles. Alright, so now you can do unfolding like so and the other side like so. Now you can do this again, but by now you can tell where the line is. Open this up, push that down, and here we are. Press this down. Don't worry about this if it's not perfect, it's all good. Flip this triangle up, and we have one page to turn, then another page to turn. Be careful, that's two. So, there we are. Aha! This is the one we have to fold in again. Alright, here we are, and this side. If you want to do this again, let's open this up and let's press this down. There we are. And you should have this now. Alright, now it's on the table like this, and you're going to turn pages as if it's a book. So First one, you're going to turn it, and you'll see this pretty page with no folds. Oops, absolutely clean. And this is the one where we're going to fold the bottom part to narrow the flower. So, this edge will go to the center, like so. Okay, now this edge. 
goes to the center as well. Like I said, don't worry about this, it's all good. So you should have this. Now, we're going to turn this whole thing over and we repeat. This is not a nice clean page, this has got folds and openings here. So how about we turn this page, make sure you pick only one page, turn it over. Ah, this is the one. There are no folds, no openings, and you want to bring this edge to here. So. There you are. We do the same to the other side. And now we have to do this side and this side. So let's put it there and turn the page. This is called folds and openings. Nope. Turn the page up. This is the page we want. And we fold to the center again like we've been doing. Center. And I'm gonna go here. Just Open this up, fold it to the center, fold this to the center, and we have our flower. The only thing we have to do now is fold back the petals. So we'll start with the easiest one, this one. And you can see that it doesn't go any further. And about there is where you press down. Turn it over. You can put it on the table if you want. Bring this down. Fold that down. The little triangles you fold it up. And press that down. Now, if I open this up a bit, you'll see that there's two more petals. And that's basically a flower. But to make it a bit prettier, you're going to get a pen and roll each petal, hold the tip of the paper as you keep rolling, roll it all the way till you get to the edge and you can't roll it anymore. And that's what gives it the pretty wave. Let's repeat. you want you can leave one up but I like mine curly like so and that's the lily flower you can fold some green paper and then uh, blow it and you have a stem and make a whole bunch of flowers, but I'm going to use a simple pen, gently push it through, Oops. and that's why the corner didn't quite matter if it wasn't perfect, and now uh, I don't know what feel comfortable what about here, there you are, and you put a bit of tape, sticky tape, so there's my pen. you enjoy making one yourself.